after a turbulent journey to Taiwan. And almost missing our flight. Don't always wait for us. <laughs> we had a first amazing impression of Taipei City. But today, we get to explore deeper. We start off by exploring Taiwanese food at Taipei Main Station. This station has so many food choices. It's really cool. It smells really good in here. And get blown away by Taiwan's bullet train. On our way to explore a lesser known corner of Taiwan. Join us as we race across the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's, let's get, let's get, let's get. Explore new and exciting street food. Oh, she, oh, she. And discover an unexpected skill. Welcome to Taipei Main Station. It is a beautifully sunny day in Taiwan today and today is a very special day because we get to ride an amazing high-speed train. We actually came here a little bit late this morning. We had a long sleep in to redeem our tickets that we bought online on Klug. We got a really good deal, $70 per person for a free day unlimited pass with the bullet train system here, the high-speed rail system in Taiwan. So today we're gonna to go to the very south of Taiwan to explore some food, some culture. And then over the next few days, we're gonna travel more up north, but we're gonna try and get the most out of our bullet train passes one thing that is important if you buy your tickets on Kluge you have to redeem those tickets here at the railway station with your passport because the price that Kluge is selling is specific for foreign passport owners now this video is not sponsored by Kluge it's just a good deal that I found and I will actually put a link in the description box down below if you guys are coming to Taiwan that is the link where you can book your ticket it's actually better to get the free day pass because even if you're just going to the south and then back to Taipei it will cost more to buy two-way tickets going there and coming back than buying the all-in free day pass. My love, are you excited for the train? Yes, but I'm also hungry. Yes, let's get food. I can I can feel you getting hungry. Your hungry is turning to hungry and that turns me to sad. So let's go get some food. So our train leaves at 11.46 right now. It is 11.15. That gives us half an hour to explore the station for a little bit, maybe find some food to either eat here or bring on the train. I know there is some untrained meal services, but I think the food that we can get here at the station is going to be way better than that. So let's try and find something delicious to eat. I am actually quite hungry. We haven't eaten today yet. This station has so many food choices. It's really cool. It smells really good in here. And it seems like we were more in the sweet area now. No, you can't really. <laughs> no, you can't really. And now we're here. Oh, yeah, it's like yeah, dumplings and chow pao and buns. That looks really nice, yeah. Oh, look at that. Amazing. Pork bun and cabbage. Spicy pork bun sounds quite nice, actually. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Sushi. Oh, they have nice sushi as well. Oh. And here we have the goat. <laughs> okay, we have a lot of snacks and plus we got stocked up at Li Cheng Hang. So nice. And uh, yeah, I think we're all set, right? The only thing we don't have is something sweet, but maybe they have something sweet I, on the train. I got it. Oh, you got it? Okay. All right, I so I just really love how bright and light the station is. It's so beautiful. And you can see the station is actually quite old already, yeah. but it still looks like they just well, built it yesterday. Yeah. Everything is so well maintained, so clean, so yeah, just bright. It's so clean and bright. People literally just sit on the floor and and relax here. There's no like inhibition. So cool, love it. Okay, we're just seeing what else there is over here on this side that we don't miss out. We wouldn't want to realize afterwards that we missed out on something amazing that is here. Lillian Bakery. I'm so excited for the bun. Yeah, me too. Because I feel like everyone that we see like is eating those buns. Yeah. I'm like so jealous already. Chen Bakery, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Massage at the railway station. That looks like Caridaria food. Now my love is happy and now my we... My little Asian heart. Now we are late. <laughs> I can't believe there's a place or like a stall here that sells just chicken hearts. Caramelized chicken hearts and chicken intestine. Like so diverse <laughs> and it's so like... And it's unbelievable. Like they have duck tongues like how many ducks did they have to kill to get the tongue <laughs> and the heart i got i don't know 200 pieces of hearts here they had to kill 200 chickens 
<laughs> okay, here HSR train. Thank you. They are even more thorough than they are at the airport in Manila with like checking the documents. I know. Oh, is that our train already? Exciting. Bullet train again. This is so cool. So this is actually the toilet. It just open. It's leaving. Toilets here on the train. It is so clean, so clean. It's so quiet. Yeah, and they have like special, like the men's rooms. They have like single cabin men's rooms, but just the pissoir. So no big toilets, just a standing toilet, which is quite cool because it saves space. Yeah, true. And it saves lines. How can you see this recliner? You can recline it. There's a button. So comfy. Right. What, what are we gonna try first? I'm so hungry. Let's start with the bow buns, right? Yes. So, okay, cheers. Mm. It's very subtle. It's not like chopper, first of all. I mean, the dough is like chopper. The filling is like dim sum. Mm -hmm. Exactly what's inside the dim sum. This one is very subtle. Yeah, this, it's just cabbage. With a few spices, it's not very salty. It's like very mild and flavor. It's nice. The pork one is a little bit more substantial. I like that better. And me too, a little bit better, yeah. Okay, looks like we have Wi Fi on the train. Hmm, not bad. That's usable. not warm anymore. I can taste the soy, the laurel leaves, pepper. I don't know, something to balance. I think something vinegar. Mm. No Chinese vinegar. Something like that. Yeah, it's very nice. Okay, let me try my uh, beef dish. This is a beef tendon rice dish. I definitely want to give the beef a try first. So good. Tender, but still has a bit of a bite to it. A little bit sweet, very savory. Let's try this, yeah. Mm. Very nice. And then we have some, some glass noodles here as well. So delicious. Can I try your pork? Yes. The little bite. Mm. So good. It's like pretty, it's, it's crispy pasta, like they boil it for a long time. Yeah. But they boil it in, yeah, the soy and everything. Yeah. And it's not, they don't fry it anymore. It's just really braised and... Yeah. So good, all of this food really nice. And then we have just a galore of intestines. Here we have the caramelized heart. hearts. Chicken heart or chicken. duck heart? Chicken heart. Like chicken. It's so tender. It's cold. It's cold, yeah, very savory. Mm. It's not chewy anymore for me. Almost looks it's like a bean. It's more in the top side already. Uh-huh. means it's been cooking for a long time. It's quite nice. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. And then what was the other one that we had? Intestines? This seems like the best salad because we have like tubs of this. So. It's cut open, which then you know it's like it's clean, it's very clean because it was cut open. It's, good. it's a little bit rough. It doesn't, it doesn't taste like intestines at all anymore, does it? Not at all. Yeah. 
Really nice. Pickled vegetables. What a fast and comfortable journey. I can't believe that we just traveled from one end of the country to the complete other end of the country in such a short time period. I'm actually genuinely excited for the trip back again because we're gonna try it and upgrade our seats to the business class on the right hand. And then we are going to explore now this beautiful city. We have we've not made any plans or preparations, we're just going to take it by ear. Crazy to think how, how fast we were going and there's no seat belts. Yeah, <laughs> true. First things first, let's get a ticketing office so we can reserve our seats and potentially upgrade our tickets for the ride back. And also decide what time we want to ride back. And then coffee, yes. Definitely coffee. And there's a Starbucks right here. Maybe that will have to do. Yes, very true. So you were just saying it's nice that we can just show up to the railway station minutes before the flight. We don't have to be there like hours ahead of time like with airlines. Yeah, we just like literally 10 minutes. But in all fairness, we show up like five minutes before the flight at the airport. I mean literally, literally. <laughs> oh, let's give this a try. I love is doing it the right way. I would have gone just under. Yeah, and again. I almost did that too, but I like, uh, uh, I went a different country. I ought to obey. So I think that's it. We're going to Paris. Yeah, 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 we Nice, nice, nice. Earlier it was too late for us, so we couldn't get window seats and we couldn't get just two, what do you call them, like two seats in a row? Yeah, so we had the aisle seat and the middle seat. Perfect day. Perfect day. What a nice coffee experience here in Kaohsiung City. Kaohsiung? Kaohsiung. Kaohsiung. Yeah. Oh my god, I just upset a lot of people by pronouncing the name wrong, didn't I? Uh, I'm trying my best. I thought you're Asian. You said you're 2% Asian. <laughs> Yeah, it's so much quieter here and a lot less hot. We were trying to rent these bikes Thank here with the app. I think we really need the app, love. There's no way to do it without. Yeah. See, it says rent via QR code and then on the app, it gives you a QR code and you can scan this QR code. Mm. That starts up the ride. However, I could not sign up for the app. I could not log into the app because I don't have a Taiwan phone number and we need a Taiwan phone number. Yeah. And I didn't get SIM card this time. A short trip to Taiwan, but yeah. Would be really cool to ride the bikes. Yeah, you have, you have yeah. Oh well. All right, let's check navigation where we have to go. All right, just uh, 16 minutes walk, 16 to 20 minutes walk from the railway station. We have the beautiful Lotus Pond, I believe it was, with temples on the end of it. And there's some wakeboarding here, really cool. It's so peaceful here, right? Very, very quiet. Yeah, but I think we underestimated the heat. We thought it was way cooler, but as soon as you get into the sun, it gets hot, 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 hot. But yeah, we're going to explore around here a little bit and then maybe take public transportation to, I don't know, what do you say? Should we check out the Dream Mall? Should we check out the public library? We'll see. We'll see. Also, I think food. Yeah. I want to figure out what the local delicacies are. just made a fun discovery there is a Costco here in Kaohsiung city and both of us neither of us have ever been to a Costco so we're gonna go check it out also because we're trying to find some indoor activities to partake in because it is getting hot like the yeah. cool breeze that we were talking about earlier it's gone it has left 
<laughs> so we want to get indoors somewhere and also we need a trash can it's another thing that we figured out it is so clean here there's no mess there's no trash anywhere but also there are no trash cans whatsoever so you end up carrying around your trash for a very long time i guess it's like a system like in japan where they just expect you to take care of your trash yourself anyway we're heading to a bus stop that is just close by because it's too far to walk but also it's hard to get a taxi here. So i don't see any taxis so i'm gonna take our first buzz in taiwan oh this is not good i wonder if the bus stops looks like it is under construction whatever that means but this is the bus stop ah yes yeah it must i'm sure it'll stop right i don't know i'm sure so good to be in the bus with acon it was so hot outside <laughs> Yeah, I know. I think I want to get those uh, those cooling wipes they have at 7-Eleven. Have you tried those before? It's like a wet wipe, but it's like with mint and it cools you up. It's really cool. Literally cool. Kind of reminds me of my uh, school days when I take the bus to school and you press the button, otherwise the bus driver doesn't stop. <laughs> You're a little boy, little boy. Baby, what happened? I was so distracted and I, I didn't know that our stop was coming. You just gave me the camera and I didn't know that you were gonna push the stop button. And basically I wasn't prepared to leave and I forgot everything. I forgot the beach hang yang that we got. Oh, oh well we can get some more. It's no worries. When we got back when we get back yeah. to Taipei behind it's a sh <laughs> We only had like two pieces of yeah. golden coins and we were like, let's just have now yeah oh well luckily nothing else was in the bag <laughs> i was like my first question was is that all that was in the bag <laughs> oh but the question is do we need like a membership card to go into costco true we might i just thought of that it's right like now SNR. Huh. let's see okay this is low-key overwhelming and also we figured out we can't really buy anything because we don't have a membership yep. we need a membership and i think probably you need a local address to get a membership so even if we would sign up for a membership or decide to sign up for a membership we couldn't use that mem we couldn't do it because we don't have a local address mm -hmm. yeah but also i thought it's way cooler like everybody's like oh cost 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 I don't, cost, 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 cost. it's not it's not as cool as i anticipated it to be it's, it's kind of like just warehouse. like it's just a warehouse yeah yeah, that's it. yeah. i've seen this many times before what clothes? Clothes, like basic clothes. But we can't They're buy just... anything. True. I just want to see. Tonamani. <laughs> wow, look at that massive balcony. That is cool. Price is yeah, low. Oh my god, look, they have the coolest camping stuff here. Look at this beautiful grill. Look how shitty ours is and how nice this one is. No. Yeah, seriously. Look how cool. They got like all this cool stuff. I have no idea what that is, but yeah, it's cool. It's branded or yeah, yeah i think it's like overstock maybe they or they just buy it in bulk oh look at the umbrella we need an umbrella <laughs> look at the pots pots nice right pot plant cover it's not a yeah. oh man if we had this in the this? philippines that would be cool oh look at this love it's an outdoor sofa for camping yeah, it's yeah. an inflatable outdoor sofa for camping I just, I think, I don't know if this is right, but just based on observation, I feel like Taiwanese people love plants a lot. Yeah. Yeah, gardening, plants, because I see a lot of gardening shops and everywhere we go, there's plants. Like whether it's a cafe, whether it's a 7-Eleven shopping center, there yeah. will be plants. I would totally get this for camping in the Philippines. Because one of the hard things is to find a comfortable spot and we're always fighting for the hammock. This would solve that problem. Or get two hammocks. <laughs> Oh well, it was worth seeing, but uh, definitely not. The lot... keyboard is cool. The keyboard is cool, definitely, yeah. But we can get that. Amazon. We can get that in the Philippines. You can Amazon. Yeah. So now we're going to the night market. Question is: taxi, bus, or subway? Let's see. I don't know. I don't now, what know would difference. you prefer? Those are the options. They're all uh, equally fast and equally as exhausting. I think we can get a taxi. Because taxi. Remember Marriott? Yeah, there I were a lot of taxis. Thank you. Bye-bye. Welcome to the night market. All right, we've arrived at the local night market and it is just getting started off. We're here quite early. They open up at five o'clock and it is 
quarter past five so yeah we're just beating beating the masses basically and it's just the perfect time because after this we head back to the railway station oh it smells so good here oh look at the barbecue station wow oh that pain smells interesting how do you eat it like everything how uh, you suck it so just ah ah okay okay so you just suck out the small snails from the, the yeah. thing i was i thought it's maybe like something crazy where it's like you crunch on it dark meat consumption in taiwan uh, I, I, I'm really appreciating this that we're here so early. I still see some street food vendors are still setting up. They're still getting set up because it is quite early. But yeah, I want to jump down on something. Here we have apparently some uh, fried chicken, right? Yeah, 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 karage. Wow, look at that. Hello, that looks cool. Ah, oh, pepper pie. That looks good. Oh, look at the cheesy one. Oh, exciting. Over here we have some more barbecue, chicken feet. Grilled oysters, very nice. Oh, you and your vending machine. You always told me like, I win all the time. Oh, I'm but so good at this. Oh. Shut up. It's rigged, love. It's rigged. Is There's it? no way to win. There's okay, this, ang try. this angle here. This angle will always flip whatever you grasp. It'll flip it up again. Watch. You grasp it, it picks it up, and it flips it. There you go. Told you. Love, you're gonna like this. You wanna, you're gonna like this. Shooting range. I'm good at this. Oh, <laughs> second try. Impressive! <laughs> Can you shoot the entire wall? I'm so scared compared to the other ones. Love, I'm telling you, it's rigged. But you can try. I Where mean, is it tied? I just feel like these machines are, are always rigged. Rigged, rigged, rigged. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, ah. See that's like perfectly no it's impossible you, you cannot get it it's Did impossible it? it's not tight but it's just it it doesn't let you like i already explained it does it just doesn't last try gray absolutely loves the arcades any anything arcade she is down to play oh look at these love Try the pepper pie, this looks so good. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey. Jishi. Oh, what do we have here? It's like sausages. Ah, it's a paella? I'm not sure. Looks good. Oh, yes. Ah, Lovely. Yes. And water, sparkling yes. water. Okay, let's get sparkling water for sure. Yes. Oh, look here. This is a pancake, right? Yes. 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 Yeah. Taste this uh, pork bun. Mm, that's so good. A little bit sweet, a lot of dough, and the filling is really nice. Mm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Shishi. Have you had one of these before? Oh, nice. It's everything. It's noodle, it's dough, it's cabbage, it's Japanese mayonnaise, it's everything. You can see some bacon in there as well. Mm. You know, I'm a huge fan of watching Korean street food, Japanese street food on YouTube and they make these in front of you. It's just so addicting. And I can't believe I'm finally trying one. It is like the takoyaki. Good, you like it? Yeah, you love takoyaki, so... It's in Osaka and it was actually at a Michelin star rated okonomiyaki place, so... Oshi. It's sweet, creamy, a little bit spicy. And you have all those different textures from the noodles to the cabbage to the, everything that's in it. Just It's all about the textures. It's all about like the diversity and textures and flavors. So delicious. Love it. Oh. Oshi. Oshi. Oh, so hot. So yeah. One time I had those, it got stuck on the top of my mouth and I got burned so badly. Mm. 
Mm. Is it hot or is it so good? I can't, I can't tell your reaction. Good? Takoyaki is the hottest food you can get in the world. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's hot, it's chewy, very delicious. Oshi. It's satisfying. Yeah, very. Okay, that was very nice, albeit a little bit untraditional for Taiwanese street food, but quite delicious. We're just gonna see if there's anything else that actually will tickle our fancy that'll look good to us. Give it a try before we proceed to the sweets. And then we have to rush back to the train. Okay, we got okay. a freebie. Want to cut? Uh, yes, please. Okay, this is actually quite funny. So that delicious looking sausage that I ordered is a duck leg. Oh. It's like a duck foot. <laughs> I kind of thought of duck leg. Yeah, I, I didn't realize. I didn't realize. You said sausage, so I just thought to myself, yeah. Yeah, okay, it's a sausage. Yeah, uh, uh, my bad. Well, anyway, I'm going to try it nonetheless because I do love duck. Mmm. Yeah, it's a duck winglet. And it's a lot of like skin, very little meat on there. But the seasoning is really nice. Flavor-wise, it's great. I just Sweet. don't like... Yeah, the sweetness is nice. I'm just not a fan of like bony things. Beautifully seasoned. Love it. So we make our way back to the airport, yes. uh, to the <laughs> railway station. To the airport. It feels like flying, doesn't yeah, it? there's like three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's, let's get, let's get, let's get. I still find it so fascinating that we can just jump in a train for two hours and come to a complete different region of this country, enjoy food, enjoy drink, and then head back to Taipei, be there for dinner. Yeah, it's like going to Shargao, first thing, like from Manila to Shargao, first thing in the morning, and then you go home to Manila yeah. <laughs> in the afternoon. Yeah. I mean, you can do that. You can fly, obviously. It's too strenuous to do that. Yeah. It's also something that I love about Japan, like taking the bullet train in Japan. It's like a similar, very, very cool sensation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful sunset. Just a uh, perfect time to drive over here. Yeah. Okay, time to try another coffee spot. I need a cup of coffee before we board. I need either a cup of coffee or a beer before we board the train. I feel like a beer would be nice after sweating so much walking around town. You're so sticky. I know, I know. I was sweating so much. How many steps do you think it's we so went? It's so humid and it's so hot here in Taiwan. I'm yeah. Oh, we've gone again like almost 9,000 steps. So. We're gonna have, at the end of the day, we're gonna have 12,000 steps again, love. We're gonna make it. Ah, excited to jump back on the high-speed train back to Taipei. This time we have window seats, which is nice. Just like that, we are back in Taipei. What a lovely, I love that train. That's so cool. And this is not the last time that we're taking this train. We're gonna go up north. Either tomorrow or the day after we have decided we just have to decide. But yeah, so much fun. It's so much fun to commute around Taipei and Taiwan. I really love it. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate Okay. Bye bye. Kaohsiung was a really cool little trip. We could have done more, but our time was kind of limited yeah. because we wanted to go, they come back same day. But I will say Taipei, I enjoyed a little bit more. The lights are more colorful, it's more exciting, there's more happening. A little bit too calm in Kaohsiung for me. But that being said, if, I, if the opportunity comes up, I'm happy to explore it more, go down again. It's really it nice. Go, like, 
like I want to see like what nature has to offer yes, here in the uh, yes, exactly. home or you know maybe mountains viewpoint observation decks. Yeah. I'd love to see that. Generally, uh, what do we say or what do we think about the high speed train in Taiwan? You have tried the high speed train in Japan. Yes, I have. Um, I will say I love the high speed train, especially especially because it was very comfortable very very efficient very fast but the japanese ones are faster it wasn't as fast as i would have liked just because not because of how long it takes just because it's cool to be traveling at 300 kilometers per hour what i said but i still loved it i mean not saying i didn't love it okay we were just at daiso getting some just stuff. guessing guessing stuff based off of yeah. and okay. it's your first time doing self-checkout put it in the basket yeah if you don't do it then it's gonna trip uh, i can see you've never worked as a cashier yes you guessed it right. I've never worked as a cashier. <laughs> you know, that's one of the many jobs that I have done. Oh, you tripped it. Did I? Yeah. So, is that correct? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items? Four, six, yes. Perfect. Okay. And then three? No, we have to say, I think we have to say how we want to pay. Yeah, I'm guessing that too. But which one is. I don't know. 